hello guys welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video how are you doing i hope you are good we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife my people oh <laughs> things they happen for this life oh allegedly we heard that uh, kunomi and oni of ife that they were in a very big shock like fear overwhelmed them with what happened in the palace about Adenikawo, no people. They say that allegedly that Adenikawo disappeared in the palace. Like disappeared, nobody saw her again. They were searching for her everywhere, nobody could see her. So how the thing started was that you know uh, we had allegedly that only of Ife, because of what Kunomi did, the way they saw what she did before she left the palace. We heard that the thing that she did was uh, a, a serious offense in their land. For her to post that thing she posted before leaving the palace. So now that she wants to come back to the palace, uh, she needs a total cleansing. Like there's what they called ritual that should be performed. You know, only of is a traditionalist. Uh, Kunomi, a Christian. But Kunomi accepted to marry Onyo Fife just because he loves her and these two are uh, meant to be together. So that is why some people used to ask, why is it that she accepts to marry her even though she's a, a priestess and a, a prophetess and this person, a traditionalist. That is how God wants it for them. So allegedly we heard that when... Uh, Kunomi now wants to come back to the palace. She finally agreed to come back, and the king finally agreed to do the needful so that she will come back. So, for her to come back, they need to perform this ritual. Now, Kunomi is undergoing 20, uh, 28 days cleansing, and that cleansing and the ritual performance that there are there are uh, uh, there is the one they are supposed to do for Tadenikawo too. I was like, did Tadenika will write anything? Is it Tadenika that wrote the thing and as uh, they said that Kunomi wrote? Anyway, so Kunomi had been coming to the palace for almost every day. And uh, she never slept in the palace. You know, so Kunomi is a, is a, a wise woman. She has never slept in the palace. Each time she will come, after the ritual and the cleansing, she will still go that same day. So they said that the uh, the day there was the one they came, so they were busy in the room where they were doing the cleansing. That day, they said that uh, there is the one they're supposed to do for that day. So only of Kunomi told Simi and the, her mother to come, so that if they are doing her own, their eyes will be on Tadenikawo. You know, Tadenikawo is her eyes. Tadenikawo is everything she have right now. And then Nikawo is the mirror that she uses to see. So she don't like anything at all to happen to Tade. So my people, they said that when they got there, they were doing the ritual, the, the cleansing of the ritual. The, in, the woman that, the person that was doing the, the Brazilian uh, seer, the brought that was doing the, the cleansing, both for Queen Tade and Queen Nomi was busy doing the thing they are doing. Tade Nikawa was busy running around in the in the room as an around that place. It seemed like they are in the other room doing the place and why Tade Nikawa and the Simi them, all of them they were in the other room, but you can from this room see people that is another part of it. So we heard that sometimes there was this uh, spirit they invoked, this the elders invoked them. That time they said that the king you want to bring a strange woman into the palace. They went and reported the king to that strange whatever. And that thing now invoked that spirit. The spirit they said that is they call it And that spirit they say that the, the way it operates is that it used to cry like a baby. And whenever it would start crying like a baby, this the the power as in the the power that it brings out, the power that it produces is a negative energy, like 
it can destroy things for people. It can cause death. It can cause so many things. So they say that when, when the thing, what they did for that Egbele to be coming is that anytime Kunomi will come to the palace, that Tade Nikao will disappear. And they, if they finally found Tade, they did that thing, that thing they invoke in that palace, so that each time Kunomi come, and Tade, Tade, Tade will be running around, small time Tade will disappear. And if, uh, if the thing continues, Kunomi will be afraid of coming to the palace with Tade Nikao. And you know that the target is for Tade Nikao to come back and stay with the father. So they said that they were doing the ritual. They were doing the ritual. Iya Mifa was doing the ritual. And uh, unfortunately, Mama Tade Nikao, her eyes was on Tade. Everybody's eyes was on Tade. But at a spot, I don't, they don't know what happened there. They couldn't see Tade Nikao again. And the MFA was, was busy doing he, her abihins or her inter, incantation, abi a ritual, a cleansing or whatever. I don't know whichever one they call it. So they said that immediately, immediately, Mata Denika was worried. Only of Ife was worried. See me, all of them, they started searching for Tade. They came to the other room where these people were and asked Tade and asked uh, Simi, did you see Tade? No. Did you see me? Was like I was even trying to come and ask you whether you see Tade. Just like that, so they started searching for Tade Nikau. My people, they couldn't see Tade. Until that, I yeah, before I explained that, that that's a, a, well, a spirit that invoke, they invoke in the palace. He's responsible for making Tade Nikau to, to disappear in the palace. That what they did that in is that Kunomi should not have any kind of anything in her mind to think of how to come back to the palace because they, they never wanted her to come back. And now that uh, that Duma said that they have she have uh, did something that she did and some of the egg they have disappeared but she, she left the two that was remaining just to use it and teach Kunomi what was happening and what plan these people have against her and Tade Nikawo. So then they said they asked the woman, okay, where is Tade now? The woman now said that Tade Nikawa was in that room. Ah, ah. And Kunomi started praying. Ah, Kunomi started kabashing. My people, the thing was she said how to do, she started doing it. Until they said that letter, letter. After the woman, now, after the uh, Yamifa explained, I don't know whether, whether the woman be a man. Yamifa explained that thing to Kunomi. And they now look again and saw Tade Nikawa. So they said that she just, the young people just left that, those two, this thing. To use them and teach Kunomi that look at what these people are planning. So that whenever she comes to the palace, the thing will not happen again. But she just uses it to teach that Kunomi, look at exactly what these people plan against you. So you have to be prayerful. You have to, if you know how you are going to be, be. My people, I know that the, the cleansing and the ritual remains some more. It will complete. Kunomi's own is going to complete very soon. And Tadenika will, I don't know how, for how long they are going to do Tadenika was own. But I know that God that wants Kunomi to come back to that palace will always make a way for her to come. So you can see the level and the extent these people can go just to scare Kunomi away from that palace. Things they happen, no. Things are really happening. Anyway, Sha, don't forget that they are alleged information no, because it's not a uh, first hand one. Now, nah, here we hear, and as we hear, we come, we, we share with you. Thank you, and don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.